Hi, my name is Tim Tobias. I'm the fisheries tech for Vilas County. Today we did our netting survey on Trout Lake, which includes running flight nets and then do the tagging process and measure the fish. We're looking at collecting length information and we're looking for fin clips. We also are doing a population estimate on the spawning grounds. We're also tagging fish. We're using a couple different kinds of tags. We're using a Floyd tag, which is a numbered tag that anglers can see. So if you happen to catch a fish, we'd have that information available at our office. And then if there's an associated fin clip with that fish, we can give you an age of it. And that's 7109. When we're doing this pit tag, we'll also get an idea. This is our first time we've done the pit tags yep. on lake trout. And we can get an idea of tag loss too, because we have some of these tests. Most of the fish are going to be floy tag also. Yep. 066. Yep. My name is Tracy Cusick. I work for the Department of Natural Resources. Um, I work at the Art MP State Fish Hatchery. My title would be spawning coordinator. And today we were out here spawning lake trout. The fish are brought back to shore and separated by sex. The females are held in a, in a large tank. We usually take about two or three of the, the females and we put them into our aqueous solution, which is actually the solution that sedates them. It takes about two to four minutes to knock the fish out. Um, we have someone who times that and, and also watches the fish so that they, they look healthy and that they're, they're doing well. Once the fish are sedated, I, I bring them up onto my lap. I hold the tail and uh, if I can press on the belly very lightly and the eggs come out freely, that's what I'm looking for. That means the fish is ripe. The eggs are expressed into a pan. Any extra ovarian fluids or any water that might have gotten to the pan is then taken off. And then the milk is added. It's a pretty easy process. It's pretty simple actually in the whole scheme of things. My name is Tom Lorenza. I'm a fish culture technician with the Art MP State Fish Hatchery in Woodruff. Uh, what I'm doing today is I'm preparing the eggs for transport to the uh, Bayfield Fish Hatchery. Another fish culture technician will hand the eggs to me and I'll let them sit for about two or three minutes because the milt is only active for 20, 40 seconds or so and the fertilization process is going to take place during that time. So we give them two or three minutes just to make sure that's good. And then what I will do is rinse off any excess milt and then I will add some water and kind of flush them to uh, you know, remove any uh, fecal matter or any excess milt. I'll drain the water off once again, uh, dump the eggs into like a soup strainer to remove all the water, and then I will dump them back into another tub that has a uh, pre-prepared um, 100 part per million iodine solution. It'll kill any virus, bacteria, or fungus that's present on the surface of the egg. We're water hardened in the iodine solution for one hour, at which point I will drain the iodine off and then we'll replace that with fresh water and then uh, we'll put them in a cooler and basically they're ready for transport to Bayfield Hatchery. I'm Nathan Martin. I'm a fisheries technician here at the Les Voigt State Fish Hatchery. And today we're going to uh, check in with the propagation of the uh, trout lake, strain lake trout that were collected earlier in the fall assessment. Uh, so we receive eggs uh, that are collected by the Woodruff uh, Hatchery team during the lake trout assessment in the fall. And that's typically the last week of October. Uh, through the first week of November um, and we'll rear these uh, fish for about 16 to 18 months after they've hatched and uh, we'll stock them out usually in May sometime and they'll be about a seven and a half inch fish at that point. The Trout Lake Strain Lake Trout are raised in the, uh, the original hatchery building here in Bayfield. It opened in 1897. Uh, it has, a, has its own well separate from our Great Lakes hatchery. The Trout Lake Strain Lake Trout is uh, genetically unique and uh, is endemic just, just to that body of water. And so it's important for us to protect those fish and uh, keep them separated from any other lake trout. So when we received the, uh, the eggs that the Woodruff uh, crew collected at Trout Lake this fall, um, we'll bring them into the hatchery. Um, we disinfect them just to make sure that we don't bring any, uh, any sort of pathogen in from the lake and bring it into our hatchery system. Um, the eggs are then they're sampled so that we could get a size and they're enumerated and they're placed into our heat tray incubation systems. And uh, they're gonna be in there for about 60 days. The temperature of the water determines how fast the eggs are gonna develop. And uh, we have about 47 and a half degree water here and it ends up taking about 62 days to get the temperature units to have our fish hatch out. At about 30 days, um, the eggs are actually going to be going to reach the eyed stage. And uh, 
At that point, you can actually see the developing fish inside the egg. And uh, at that point, we can go through and we can sort out any of the unfertilized eggs or, or any of the eggs uh, that have been damaged and are not going to be viable for us. On day 60, 62, the fish are going to hatch. And uh, at this point, they're going to be called sack fry. Um, they still have a very large uh, yolk sack attached to their body. And that's going to provide food for them here for about another 30 days. Um, so we'll take them out of the incubators. We can place them into uh, our rearing tanks and uh, let them develop until they absorb all of the nutrients in the yolk sac. And at that point, you're going to see them move up in the water column from the bottom of the tank and they're going to start looking around for uh, some food to eat. And that's when we're going to start to introduce the, uh, the commercial, commercial diet. At this point, we're going to come in about every two weeks. We come in and we sample all the fish. Uh, we take lengths and, and weights. In this temperature of water, these fish are growing about 15 thousandths of an inch per day. We can extrapolate out what, what we would expect their normal length to be. And along with that ratio, then we'd know what the normal weight would be. And we can also project how much we're going to need to be feeding them into the future. All the fish that come out of the hatchery and are stocked back into Trout Lake uh, receive a fin clip to mark them. Um, it'll help the, the people that are doing assessments on the lake uh, determine which year class of stocking this is and it also would differentiate any of the fish that came from a hatchery from anything that could have been naturally produced on the lake. Um, we do a five clip rotation so we're looking at the two front pectoral fins, the two ventral fins and the adipose fin and we just rotate those. The five year rotation can also help them determine uh, the age of the fish without having to take any kind of aging structure at least for the beginning part of their life as a uh, you would be able to tell by the length of the fish, whether it was two or seven years old, basically. This strain of lake trout has done really well in the hatchery. Um, our success rate has been uh, upwards of 92% for fertilization of the eggs that are collected. Um, for instance, this year, the quotas that they're asking for are, are in the low, I think it's 32,000. Um, we are only needing to collect about 40,000 eggs to make sure that we reach our quota. Um, typically, we're getting 85% of the eggs we collected all the way through the yearling stage. So a uh, very, very small amount of loss from the eggs that we're collecting on Trout Lake. Today we're back at Trout Lake. Uh, it's May 16th, 2019. We're stocking the fish that came from the eggs that were collected during the fall of 2017 uh, Lake Trout Assessment here on Trout Lake. Today we released approximately 15,000 uh, Trout Lake strain lake trout back into Trout Lake. We basically evenly split them in between the north and south basin. Average size about seven and a half inches. Like I said, these fish have been reared about 18 months in our hatchery. Hopefully, in the coming years, we're gonna see some of these fish come back and creel uh, with uh, reports from the anglers and uh, eventually show up in the lake trout spawning assessment. Russ Jans was the initiator of the lake trout program. He got the lake trout on the map. Uh, we looked at genetic testing to see that these fish are unique strains. Um, we decided that you need to manage these fish a little bit more uniquely than other species just because of the longevity of them. We are catching fish today that are anywhere from 12 years old to potentially up to almost 35 years old. So it's a very fragile resource. They're growing slowly, so we think they need a little more protection than your other, other fisheries. We have a high size limit of 30 inches, which restricts a lot of the harvest in the lake, but yet we want to build a population level so anglers can enjoy catching a fish, maybe catching a fish that would be a memorable size fish, um, something you can take a picture of, but then you also have the opportunity if you do catch a larger fish, a trophy sized fish to harvest that fish.